In this video, we're going to go over uploading files to Django Rust Framework. Specifically, we're going to do it with Ajax. In previous videos, we've covered setting up our serializers, our models, our view sets, and our routers. So let's quickly go ahead and cover those before moving on to the rest of the site so that we can get a refresher of what's going on. First thing we'll do is we'll open up our URLs file, our main one. We can go down and we can see we have API and we're including our API URLs from our API app. If we go into our API URLs file, you can see we have a router that's just a default router. We've registered files and we've used a document view set. And then we've included the router.urls with our URL pattern. It's super basic. If we go ahead and look at our view set, we see we have a model view set. We're using a query set of document.objects.all and we're using our serializer of a document serializer. Looking at our serializer, it's a basic serializer. We're using the title and the file fields and we're setting our model to document. If we look at our document, we have two fields. We have the title field, which is a character field, and we have the file field, which is a file field. And we're uploading our documents to the documents folder inside of our media root. Finally, if we look at our index page of our template, you can see we have a basic form. It's posting to the current page and it's doing a multi-part form data and code type. We're using our CSRF token and finally we have our two text and file fields that will be used. And then finally at the bottom if you look we're using jQuery and we're importing our main.js file from our project. So that's really it on the background of our application. It is a standard model that uses a title and a file field. It's a standard serializer that just says, hey, this we're going to use the document model, do everything like normal. And they're using a view set that takes care of some of our methods. And we're setting, hey, this serializer and this query set for that. So Django REST Framework takes care of our API for that. The cool thing is at this point, our API just kind of works. We can use it like a normal API without doing any Ajax stuff. We could do and it'll accept a file just fine. So if we'll open up in our browser, if we'll first look at our admin, you can see we have three files uploaded already. If we'll look at our template or our index page, you can see we have our two fields that we used. And then finally, let's go ahead and look at our REST framework page where we're looking at our current API endpoint of API slash files. As you can notice, we have the three documents that we used earlier and they each link to a file. If we look at our options, you can see we have two types of renderers and we have three things that our API endpoint will parse. JSON, a form field URL encoded form, and form data for multi-part form data. So that means it'll accept files that we upload. The two fields that it takes in a post are the title and file. So if we go back to our main get and we try to actually upload a file and we give it a title of image one and then select our facebook.png or facebook file, then you can see it uploads because it returns back that file. If we do our get, then now we have four images or four files that are available to us from our API endpoint. So this actually shows it working in this manner. So the next thing that we want to do is we actually want to get it to work with JavaScript so that we can do it either through jQuery raw like we're going to do it or in case we want to throw it over to React or even AngularJS. To do this in JavaScript is actually fairly simple as well. If we open up our main JS file, we have our JavaScript ready to go for us to start. If we'll get the current form on the page and on our submit, we'll call a function it's a standard jQuery JavaScript. But the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and prevent the default action of something actually submitting to the screen. The next thing that we want to do is we want to gather all the form data and save it to a variable. So we're just going to create a new instance of form data and pass it this object so that it takes all of the form information and encapsulates it into a form data for us to easily pass on up to the server really recommend you check out the documentation for this and I'll provide a link to MDN on it in the show notes. But this makes dealing with forms much, much easier.
Finally, we're going to do our actual AJAX calls. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use our URL of API files that we were looking at earlier. The data we're going to pass in is our data variable. We're going to do a post and we're going to set the content type to false. This is actually pretty important because if you don't set the content type to false, the boundary string will be missing from it and you're not going to send the full file up and it's going to error out on you. We also we're going to set it to process data to false so jQuery doesn't convert everything to a string and cause an upload error on the server side and make everything more confusing. And these two things are the actual key to uploading files using jQuery and Ajax. You want your content type to false and your process data set to false as well. If you don't do either of those things then it's going to error out and you're going to be scratching your head and really frustrated for a while. There's a pretty good reason I know why. So the next thing is we're going to use our success and we're just going to pass it an action function and same thing with our error. So at this point this is really all that we need for uploading our file because it's going to use the form data that we set up there and it's going to take the form that it's currently on and it's going to put it into a format that we can pass to our server. Then we're just doing an Ajax call with that data and we're listening for a response. If we'll go ahead and write our action function, we'll just log it out the response to the console so that we can inspect what's going on. This is a quick, easy way to verify that it works. So at this point, let's actually go ahead and run it in our browser. Opening up our browser, we get to our home page. Go ahead and open up our console before we do our submit. Let's go ahead and add our name so it's going to be a real file. Then we're going to upload episode 66 audio.pdf. So this is a file and not an image just to show that works. And then we'll just go ahead and upload. And as you can see, it pops out a file in our console as the return type. If we expand to look at it, it's the full location of our file and it's the title that we 